<clears throat> hey everybody. So today I was just sitting here pondering I should make a video, what should it be about? And I figured what did I need to know when I first started hitchhiking? You know, to what if just little pieces of gear that could have made it a lot easier that I've discovered now through just trial and error and experience. But if you're trying to hitchhike and you're watching this video, I beg you, learn from my mistakes. So, first things first, water bottles. Always keep water on you, stay hydrated, it's a no-brainer. Um, I used to buy metal ones, don't use metal because they're heavy, weight is everything. Get just the regular old plastic ones so that way when you drink it all the way, you can unscrew it, like crush it down, and then put it in your pack to cut down on the volume, right? Um, you're always going to want a lamp, flashlight, something. Yes, you can use your phone, but you don't want to count on that if it's dead, if it's raining, and you can't use the fucking screen because it's all wet. Just have a flashlight. Um, for smoking, right? Because if you smoke as much as I do, what bring and what not to bring, right? What bring? <laughs> a lot of this. Um, I found this little cigarette case, which I love. Now I've been rolling my own, I can just <coughs> keep four of them locked and loaded in here for future use. Which is really nice, because you don't want to be stopping to roll a cigarette every fucking hour or so. <coughs> just sit down four minutes, roll a cigarette, smoke it, contemplate. No, just roll a handful at once. Trust me. Time is money. Um, just get a little basic plastic grinder. Honestly, like... Weight is everything. Don't get your fancy super $60 grinder. No, come on. You're fucking hobo. Use some plastic. Um, I like to keep my tobacco in this little tin. Just because I don't I like the tin, but I want to get the top rolling papers. I like them. They roll pretty nice. It's like $1.50 for $100. Um, and you also want to get some filters, right? Because unfiltered tobacco is really just worse than, than filtered. I mean, obviously, but... It's just so much harsher. It just, it fucks me up. I smoke three or four unfiltered and I'm done. I have to nap. But, uh, yeah, find a cigarette somewhere that someone just smoked a third, a half of it, and threw it, whatever. Rip the filter out and rip the filter into like thirds or fourths or whatever you're feeling and tuck that in the end of your fucking cig because your throat will thank you, right? Um, Patrick threw me this. Thank you. It's like the third bowl I've had this trip. But um, yeah, just get a little bowl or one hitter or something too. Because, or not, like it, it is all weight. You could cut some of this stuff out, but for my, my uses, I consume enough products of the green, smelly variety to need a several ways, even on the road. Um, get some kind of utensil. Holly got me the eating tool. And it's really, it's really great. <coughs> Damn near lost it two or three times. But yeah, it's got a bottle, bottle opener, sport kind of deal. Once again, not rocket science. I mean, bring a fork if you can't find something neat. <coughs> bring some kind of knife, right? Multi-tool. My dad got me this Leatherman for Christmas. One of the best presents he've ever, he's ever got me. And it's Father's Day as I'm recording this. How about that? But yeah, pliers, saw, knife, bottle opener, what have you. And if I had to, fucking do some damage, throw it at somebody. Um, obviously, you want chargers, adapters. I found this nice charger from Blueberry.com. Well, at least that's who made it. I bought it off Amazon. But it's got Android, iPhone 4, and iPhone 5, 6 up charger, right? With the USB plug-in, so it's really nice for whatever kind of gadgets you have. 
you could even charge multiple with it, I think, but then it's it's just gonna charge them slower, obviously. Um, I highly recommend getting an e-cig, and especially one that you can use as a power cell as well, um, because there will be those times where you're, you wanna smoke, but your phone's dead and you have to give someone a call or look at the map or something, and if you could charge it to like two or three percent just to get that minute or two on your phone, it could potentially save your ass, right? I've literally been there. And uh, really cuts down in the cigarette consumption, which saves your health, which saves you your food and energy and everything, right? Um, oh, I've got another power cell. Someone threw me. Same reason. Um, honestly, this should be a no-brainer, but... A lot of the hitchhiker hobo people are real fucking grimy. So seriously, like deodorant, fucking for your teeth, the brushy brush and the pasty paste. Um, also, when you're sleeping in the mornings, waking up or what have you, you're gonna get cold occasionally, right? So this, all this actually found me, but just a basic pair of gloves, not fancy. A beanie helps. You can get two hand warmers at most gas stations or whatever for like 99 cents and just throw them in your glove right put the glove on throw this inside there voila warm hands forever right and um something i didn't have on like my first big trip that i really should have invested in and looked into um this it's a sleeping pad and it rolls up, I, it can even be smaller than this, but it's very compact, it's about maybe two pounds, if that, and even with about this much air between you and the ground, yeah, people roll around in their sleep, I'll occasionally wake up off of it, but the quality of your sleep will dramatically increase, which will, your energy levels and your morale, it's sleep, what is it, sleep, water, um, food, no, so sleep, water, marijuana, then food. Those are probably like the most important things on the road. And uh, this is a bivy sack, also for your sleep. You know how a hot pocket is cooked? Where you put the fucking, the pocket in that little metal cooker thingamajig around it, and you plop it in the microwave and the, the metal reflects the heat back into it. This is the same deal, right? is just kind of almost like a burrito the very thin layer of metal that you can put around your sleeping bag and um it's going to reflect your own body heat back into you right so you're going to be a lot warmer because it's just more efficient and if it's raining if it's moist you're going to be insulated right because it's also waterproof and hopefully you have a good sleeping bag uh mine is i don't even got it out of our basement but it's worked pretty well especially with these right and obviously you know bring a tarp and clothes and a, a washcloth and a hat and all kinds of other shit but it's really a no-brainer for the most part that being said one last thing a fucking garbage bag will save you a lot of hassle and <laughs> moist irritation if your stuff gets rained on overnight. Even if you have a bivy sack over your bag so you're sleeping a little better if you're getting rained on, um, your backpack could be very thoroughly soaked in the morning. That's happened. I don't want to even recall how many times because there's scars on my psyche. But yeah, don't, don't let your things get soaked. Garbage bags baby sacks and marijuana.